This is the AM radio that I built. It is of the regenerative type. It has a ferrite core antenna, which we see up here. This is the main coil and the feedback coils right there. Main tuning is achieved through a potentiometer through the use of a varactor diode shown right there. So the varactor diode and the main coil together act as a tank circuit and we're able to tune the entire AM band. Regeneration is controlled through the potentiometer here. This transistor is the RF section of the receiver. This is the oscillator and together with a capacitor is able to demodulate the AM signal. There are two stages of preamplification. Here's the first stage. The second stage is here. And this transistor is acting as a driver for the class AB amplifier that's shown towards the back. So let's hear how it sounds. Attach a 9 volt battery. Let's tune. Do you have um, yellowing in the leaves, like between the veins, or is it just brown? No, just brown. Just no brown. yellowing. So okay, you can well, hear the station coming in uh, very nice and loud. That cause that, like, iron deficiency. It's very clear as well. Um, Let's tune in another station. Uh, also, if it's in. Anytime you hear a whistle, that's a station. And that's really when the feedback is a little bit higher. But right now, it's going to catch mainly the most powerful stations around here. There's another station right there. Let's tune another one. There's another station. Yeah, let me adjust the feedback here to get a little bit louder. There we go. Let's continue. There's another station there. There's another station. Now, did you hear that? Right there, that's where our feedback has gone a little bit too high, so we need to back off of it. And this station is at the other end of the AM band as to where we originally started. Now, let me go ahead and just kind of go from where we are now to the other extreme, and you'll hear a bunch of feedback whistles. For every whistle that you heard, that's a station. Let me adjust the feedback to back it off just a little bit. All right. So there you have it. This does not need an, a, a wire antenna or a wired ground. It's pretty much all self-contained. Hope you've enjoyed it. March, but if you don't care.